very sad situation. Earthquake, Morocco, almost 3,000 have died. Let's put up some of that B roll. This has been um, one of those rare but extreme occurrences on this planet. So, right now, at least, which means the number is higher, at least 2,901 dead. Let's put up the picture full math. You have well over 5,000 who have been injured. The United Nations estimates that roughly 300,000 people have been adversely affected by the earthquake in Morocco. A powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck the region unaccustomed and ill prepared for such a jolt. On Monday, the death toll rose again. That's according to the Ministry of Interior. Uh, we have rescue teams from Spain. Britain and other places, remote villages, well, they were hit the hardest. The worst of the destruction is in the scenic high Atlas Mountains, where dirt roads and uh, they snake into these snow capped peaks. Many of those passes have been blocked by road slides, excuse me, rock slides, making it impossible to reach individuals who may be trapped. Um, some of them are trapped in their very homes. Here's more of here's more of that. The level of destruction is absolute. Struggling to find the right word to describe what he was saying. Not a single house has stayed upright. Not one. We're going to start our search with dogs and see whether we can find anyone alive. Uh, people are sleeping anywhere for safety and shelter. At Ron Point de la Palmera, the main traffic circle at the entrance of the city, hundreds of people were sleeping on the sidewalks, sleeping in the grass along the road. The rows of people sleeping stretched the length of the boulevard driving into the city. After many in the region spent Two nights outside, the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces are preparing to build tents to help provide temporary shelter for those who have been adversely affected by the earthquake. Most of the dead were buried under the rubble or collapsed building, the government said. International aid groups warned that Morocco faces a huge challenge in supplying help to the estimated 300,000 affected people and in rebuilding destroyed communities. The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Society suggested that the death toll could be much higher with at least 10,000 feared to be missing. Uh, volunteer efforts, you got Morocco's young are powering the country's uh, very desperate relief effort right now. Um, there's a youth center working in conjunction with volunteers. Um, it's just not enough, just not enough. The Destruction is so extreme, the death toll is truly unknown. The numbers they keep coming up with are almost trajectory numbers rather than real numbers. How is the world responding? Fragmented, it's a fragmented response. It's not just fragmented in coordination, it's fragmented in care, concern, art, compassion. We are literally on this planet together. We think somehow distance separates us, but it does not. We were meant to work as a collective, to help each other, to be there, regardless of our, let's just say, socioeconomic background or what country we've come from. I fear that we have become more divisive, less concerned, and more tribal in the way we look at the society around us. If you are a person of faith, I covet your prayers for the people of Morocco.
If you're not, send them positive vibes. At some point, we have to coordinate a better international response because they are going to need significant care to reveal. Sharon, thoughts? It's um, horrific. It's a race against time in Morocco yeah. right now, and it seems the even the offers of aid, as you mentioned, Dr. Ritchie, it's not enough. It seems as if it's this kind of check the box to whom it may concern and. Maybe we'll send something down the line. There is no down the line. There are centuries, old sites destroyed, mass funerals will need to be had. And there's, when you look at the pictures, it is just stunning how anyone can say, well, I don't see it out of my window. So yep. is a, it's heartbreaking. Very much so. We will bring you updates as the story develops and more information comes.